God has given us perfect rest and that God who did all the work of creation still works to this day. That's one of the reasons we know Jesus is God, at least if we believe him, is because he said, my father works until now and I work. That's a statement that he is the one doing the work. And he has rest in his spirit. Otherwise, how could he give me his rest? He gives us his rest. All those who labor and are weary, as he said, that one who has been working and is working still gives rest to those who believe in him, who also do things. We do the works of God, which the substance of which is believe in God. This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. Who did he send? He sent himself. He came here as the man, Christ Jesus. So it's not about the Sabbath. It's about living at rest. The Sabbath was a type and a shadow of what he wanted for us. He has been resting since then as he has been working since then. His work is restful. He didn't fall from the garden. We did. And we took on the labor and the work and the sweat of our brows. So now he offers us rest that we can have because it's not ours. It's not something we earn. It's not something we get. It's not the fruit of our labor, so to speak. And again, I have to say this, that he couldn't give it to us. He couldn't give our spirit rest unless he was resting too. So that's how we know he has rest in his spirit. And he offers it to us. That eternal one offers us eternal rest through faith in his finished work. Which was for that purpose. And now he continues to do work that is of a different nature than the work under the law. Which was not very restful or peaceful. It was... It was orderly, and it was, it included violence, setting your pets on fire, as the saying goes. And now we have something much better from our Prince of Peace, who gives us rest, Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen.